Hello everybody! Hello, it's Len. How are you doing? How have you been? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've uploaded a video. Yeah, it has been a little while. I feel like June has been both busy and yet also kind of uneventful. I mean, I've been reviewing the footage I filmed this past month knowing full well that I've been trying to vlog, I've been wanting to get back into vlogging so bad but when I reviewed the footage, it was just me on a Monday morning starting a vlog, picking up the camera and then never picking it back up for like the rest of the week and the worst part is, is that those small pieces of footage is just me being like hi, I'm tired, I'm cranky I'm going to the gym <laughs> which is so frustrating I have the hiccups <clears throat> Ew, that was a gross one So, what else have I been up to this month? Well, I've had my Japanese exams this month so I guess I've been studying most of the month for those Or rather, some studying and a lot of procrastinating. <laughs> okay, there's a good chance this will not fall. Hello, everybody. I'm in a super weird mood today. I've actually been working for most of the day. Well, no, it's like I'm not focused, so it's taking me forever. And I'm like working for like maybe 10 minutes, and then for 20 minutes, I'm on the internet doing God knows what. Then I go to the bathroom, and then I stop in front of the mirror. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna apply some chapstick. And then I'm like, hey, I wanna see what it looks like when I overline my lips. So I'm, I'm like drawing huge lips on myself. And I'm like, red lip liner. What would happen if I put red lip liner in my eyebrow? You might still see it. I think so <laughs> and I lose so much time this is like the most unproductive day ever so yeah I went for peepees like a second ago and I was singing this song and I was like what what am I singing and then I realized it was a song from an anime from when I was a teenager There's two eyes. Chisa Sakusora Nikita Hiro Tori Tori Fusum. All in all, I did quite well on my Japanese exams. Thank you very much. I did set the bar pretty high for myself, so I didn't get the grade that I wanted, but it was a pretty good grade nonetheless. Do you mind? Are you done? No. Are you done?
Okay, he's done. What I've also been doing this month, and something that's quite recent actually, is writing anime reviews for an online magazine called FAD, F-A-D, if you want to check that out. And obviously, that did take up a lot of time, and obviously I didn't film it, it was kind of boring. So here's a dramatic yet oddly accurate uh, reenactment of me writing anime reviews. Roll footage. Here is the part where I'm bummed out and annoyed at myself because I had the firm intention of I'm sorry about the noise guys, it's it's morning, deliveries, all that. I had the firm intention of vlogging for the entirety of I had the firm intention of vlogging for the last week of June because one of my best friends from high school was coming to stay with me from Chicago. So it was the perfect opportunity to vlog because we were going to be up and about, walking through the city, being touristy, doing a bunch of fun activities, but I didn't vlog any of it. And I'm so angry at myself. I had my camera with me all the time but I couldn't bring myself to vlog for some reason. It's as if vlogging has become work. And I couldn't work while I was with Danielle because I hadn't seen her in two years and I wanted to enjoy my time. And yeah, I know, it's me, I'm silly. I could have just turned on the camera and just filmed whatever was happening instead of being all artsy and wanting to focus on B-roll and planning shots for editing and composition. I should have just let things be and filmed for prosperity and less like oh i have to do like a really good vlog for youtube i'm really kicking myself for that right now so you're supposed to have five days together and ended up with four because of flight problems we lost an entire day uh and the first day we ended up walking through the city where we i don't know walked around saw a bunch of stuff had beer had fries did all the kind of typical touristy things, saw the Grand Place. I will be making a more typical Brussels video. I, I want to do it. This was the perfect opportunity, but I'm still going to find a way to get out of my own head and do it. But yeah, we basically did the whole city center on the first day. And then we ended up hanging out at my favorite spot in the city while relaxing and enjoying the sunset. We ended up doing a bunch of various things while Danielle was here. We saw more parts of the city, enjoyed more food. I introduced her to Love Island and Make It Attraction. And if you don't know what those shows are, they're basically British trashy TV. We had some great times here in Brussels, but the main event of the week though was reuniting with our group of high school friends to celebrate the 10th anniversary uh, since we finished high school. It's so crazy. Not all of them showed up, but a 
good part of them did and it was amazing to see everyone again and talk and hang out and it's as if no time had really passed it's like 10 years so much has happened in 10 years I mean one of my friends is a mother of two another friend just finished her friggin doctorate it's crazy but it's as if no time had passed also and it was incredible and we all reunited with the goal of unburying our time capsule which we had buried 10 years previously um, in the woods near our school so we had buried a box where we had put memories inside some jokes some doodles a lot of doodles actually a lot of random things but also uh, a form where we had answered a bunch of questions about ourselves and our hopes and dreams for our future, future selves where we saw ourselves in 10 years and we buried it and we did not expect to find the box so easily and quickly I mean it must have been fate or something uh, but yeah that's what we did we unburied the box and opened it with everyone and read all the messages and it was just it was just really sweet and a heartwarming moment and if you do want to know what I answered on my form all the questions like my hopes and dreams from 10 years ago leave it in the comments down below I might make a dedicated video about it I think it might be really interesting so let me know <laughs> ready let's go Ouais, ça me dit quelque chose. Mais bon, faut pas me faire confiance. Déjà? J'ai l'impression qu'on a fait quand même plus de chemin. Ah. Moi j'ai l'impression que c'est ici. Ouais. Il y aurait une marque, non oui, <rire> C'est bien parti. Ah, là, <rire> oui <rire> C'était trop facile Il est de Oh my god <rire> J'espère que celle-là, vraiment à ce ouais, pied. Dit, avec là ou là. <rire> bon. Là on va trouver un animal de compagnie mort. Oh non. <rire> non, elle, 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 elle est que c'est pas celle-là où on a gravé. Ça, c'est quasi sûr. Six months later. Wow. Voilà. Oh, c'était quoi? Ah! What's that? C'est ça! Non, c'est pas ça! Si, c'est si, pas possible! Was it in a white bag? Though? On avait en, en pas. Mille! Oh, et t'es sûr qu'il y en avait plus qu'une alors? Si, je suis pas sûre, oh mais je vais quand même vous We found it! Voilà, toi, on me souvient, c'est un sac poubelle noir. Moi aussi! <rire> Trop bizarre! <rire> C'est la capsule de quelqu'un d'autre. <rire> bah, attends, on peut peut-être. Comme une peut faire rouler dans sa nous. Là, c'est un sac poubelle noir. Oh oui, c'est pas vraiment. Oh my god. I can't believe we found that. Oh my god, I can't believe we found that. That was so much easier than I thought. Yeah, it was I thought we were going to be like sweating our asses while we're out here. Like intense music, background. <laughs> <laughs> that took like 10 minutes. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, I just like finding it. <laughs> Au moins, c'est toujours marqué sur l'arbre. Ouais. Une nuit, on aurait dû en replanter une pour... <rire> dans 10 ans. Ouais. Bye. <rire> Let's go. On va prendre mon sac. Ouais, je mets ce truc dans mon agenda d'hôpital mon longtemps. Oui. Et maintenant, c'est fait. Je suis là en 2018. Elle est bête. Oh. Ok, l'arc qui va nous tomber dessus. 
le jour de notre mort est prévu depuis 10 ans. Est-ce que mon téléphone est dans mon bas Oui. Ok. <rire> ok. On a tout la plus chaude avec. Ouais, je pense qu'on a tout. Cool! last day, uh, Danielle and myself went on a little day trip to Bruges where again, so many vlogging opportunities but I did start to get my camera out just a little bit, just a tiny little bit probably because our boat's driver guide guy was kind of cute even though he made jokes like this But don't worry I didn't have any lethal accidents this week. And like this. It's a typical red of Bruges. The red paint used to be made with the blood of tourists. It's forbidden today. Already for about five years.
that's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Godiva. You don't have anything from Godiva. Oh, this is Godiva. I never know. I'm hunting for waffles. Hmm. Where shall we go? I mean, I could go back to where we came from. I don't know. I'm trying not to walk into horse poop right now. Um, where are we going? That way? Don't eat my hair. <laughs> Bless you. This is what they're brewing currently in the bush. Last day. So yeah, I had a great time. I wish I could have shown you how good a time I was having. Really disappointed myself. I yeah. I hope I can get back into vlogging very soon. I really do miss it. But every time I turn on my camera and hold it in front of my face, vlog style. I just feel really stupid. I don't know what to say and I feel like my day-to-day -day life at the moment is just working. It's kind of the same. It's like get up and work, get up and work. It doesn't feel interesting, but yeah, I know. I'm, I'm the one who's supposed to make it interesting, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this odd vlog narrated style and enjoy the few bits and pieces I managed to piece in. Anyway, that is it for now. I will see you very soon in another video. I L word you all, and I'll see you very soon.